Hello and welcome to this short course that will introduce you to the economy. This short introductory course is intended for professionals, especially those in the international trade and investment field. The sole objective is to provide the participants a framework to monitor, analyze, and understand the economy. We will introduce the framework that we use in covering more than 100 economies around the world. This is not Macroeconomics 101, that is full of theories. We introduce relevant theories or technical terms only when they are needed to answer our questions. Having said that, and as you can see in the course outline, we go question by question. The last thing we want to do to introduce and confuse you with hundreds of economic indicators. These indicators are useful only when they help us answer specific questions about the economy. Talking about specific questions, the key word here is specific. One of the most frequently asked questions on the economy is not specific. People often ask how's the economy, just like when they ask how are you. Both are open-ended questions. So, how's the economy? Let me give you two sets of answer. The economy is poorly affected by the COVID crisis. It contracted more than 6% last year. Export dropped by 6%. The number of tourists dropped more than 80%. Things are looking gloomy. The economy contracted less than others amid the COVID crisis. International reserves are still high. Public debt, unemployment, and inflation are in control. Consumer confidence has improved from the lowest point. Things are not that bad. Would you believe that it's the same economy? and both statements are fact-based. So, how do we get an objective view of the economy? We ask specific questions. But before we do that, I'd like to introduce the two perspectives. The long view and the short view. To understand the economy, we have to know the objective. Economic policymakers' long-term goal is to improve the country's standard of living and its population's well-being. Without economic growth, the standard of living does not improve, as had been the case in most countries, before the Industrial Revolution. So how do you make the economy grow in the long run? A simple formula for long-term economic growth dictates that you have to increase these three factors labor, capital, and idea. That's the job of policymakers. What about spectators like us? We can ask questions that can give us clues to assess those three factors and the results on people's well-being. In the long view, our framework divides the questions into three groups, economic structure, competitiveness, and development. Development is the eventual result of long-term growth that is in turn driven by economic structure and competitiveness. The short-term objective of economic policymakers is to balance growth and stability. They can stimulate growth through these four engines on the expenditure side, private consumption, public consumption, investment, and net export. Increasing employment usually is the immediate target for short-term growth stimulus policies. On the other side, policymakers have to watch out for inflation and other macroeconomic stability issues, such as the financial system's health, fiscal health, balance of payment, and the exchange rate.
As spectators, we ask questions about these issues and only pick relevant indicators that help answer them. Our framework gives you both long and short views. Only relevant questions are grouped into five categories, economic structure, competitiveness, development, growth, and macro risks. There are around 30 questions in total. We will introduce the importance of each question, the indicators involved, and how to analyze and interpret them. At the end of each question, there will be an attachment with our latest chart on the involved indicators. If it's your first time, we advise that you go by order of the course outline. For more experienced participants, you can go by any order you prefer. In the last unit of the course, you can download the PDF file of our latest publication of The Economy. Music